Hello everyone, this is Raza Dharani. In today's video, we will explore the new Power Automated Visual in Power BI. This visual will allow us to trigger a flow directly from a Power BI report. We can select the fields from the Power BI dataset and pass all that information over directly to flow so we can leverage that data and create various automation scenarios. So let's get started with the video, but first, my introduction. I have a Power BI report, the data set for which in my scenario here is Microsoft Dataverse. And as part of this report, I have three visuals. I have a tabular visual here, and I have a couple of pie chart visuals that I've dropped in on my Power BI report. Now to trigger a flow from a Power BI report, I will head over to edit and under visualizations, if you go to three ellipses, and click on get more visuals. You can search for Power Automate and add the Power Automate visual, which is currently in preview. Once you have the visual added, you can select the visual and add it to your Power BI report. Once the visual is added to the report, we need to pass the fields from the Power BI data set to this specific visual. And select the visual and then decide which fields from my Power BI data set I would like to pass over to my Power Automate visual. In this case, I have a task management system, so I will pass some basic information about my task. I will pass the task number. I will pass the name of my task. I will pass the priority of the task and maybe I will pass over the due date of my task. Right here, I can see all those fields that are now connected with this Power Automate visual. For my date column here, I will just pass the date and not the hierarchy to keep it simple. And once I'm done defining my fields that I would like to pass over to Flow, I can head back to the Power Automate visual here, click on three ellipses and go to edit. And this now will launch Power Automate directly in the context of Power BI. And right here, I can select some pre-existing templates related to Power BI, or I can go ahead and create my own flow related to the new Power BI button trigger. For the first case, I will go ahead and pick an existing template, which is send a team's message from Power BI. Once I select that template and ensure that I have my connections in place, I can click continue. And this will now launch the flow editing experience right here in the context of Power BI. So I have my trigger of my flow, which is on Power BI button clicked. And I have an action here that basically posts a message as the flow bot to a user in Teams. Now for the recipient, if I select right here, we can see the different options provided as part of dynamic content coming from the button trigger, which in our case here, is the Power BI button. And here we get some details of the user who clicked the button in the Power BI report. So we can get the ID of the user, the name, the email, and the time when this flow was triggered, basically when the button was clicked. And apart from that, I also get my fields that I selected to pass to the Power Automate visual in the Power BI report. So for the recipient, I will select the user ID. For the message, I will select the task number and observe the moment I selected one of the fields from my Power BI dataset, it applied and applied to each loop. And the reason for that is that the data that comes from Power BI to Flow will always come in the form of an array. So the moment you select any of the fields in Power Automate, you will get the apply to each loop experience. For my message, I have passed the task number. I will add the task name, the priority, and the due date. And for the headline, 
I will just call this Power BI data. Once I'm done with my flow, I will click on save. Now, when you click on save, this is only saving the flow. I'm yet to connect this flow to my Power Automate visual in my Power BI report. So for that, I will click on the back button here and next go ahead and click on apply. Once I have the message that says that you have successfully applied this flow to your button, I can then head back to the report and I can see that my Power Automate visual now is showcasing the run flow button. I will just go ahead and adjust the height and the width and click on save. Now, if I was to go ahead and click on run flow, this will directly run the flow and pass the data from my Power BI data set for those selected fields to flow. There is a limit here. It can only pass 1000 records. Also, if the user was to filter the data in the Power BI report, in that case, only the data that is filtered will be passed over to flow. So in my case here, this report is based on a task management application. So it's showcasing all my tasks, my work task grouped by status, grouped by priority. And I have specific filters that I have defined. So let's say I would like to look at all my tasks that are high priority. So I will select the high priority filter and all those tasks that are overdue. So for that, I will select the due date on or before today's date. I'm recording this as of the 24th of April. I will click apply. And as of today, I have two tasks that are high priority and overdue. Now, if I go ahead and click on run flow, this will go ahead and trigger the flow and pass just the filtered data set from Power BI to flow. In Teams, the Power Automate bot sends me a couple of messages as we can see right here. The first message is the task number, the name of the task, the priority and the due date. And it also sends me a second message which has the task number, the name, the priority and the due date. If you look at the task numbers here, 1003 and 1007, if I head over to the Power BI report, those are exactly the two task numbers that I had filtered out using the filters provided. Now, if I was to go ahead and edit the flow, select the visual and go back to edit. Once again, this will open up the Power Automate experience for us right here. And I can go ahead and make modifications to my flow as well in the same experience. So I can go back, I can select my flow, I can click edit. And here I am straight back into my flow where I can go ahead and make modifications. I can even look at my flow run history, select the last run of my flow and look at the details for that flow run. Now for this Power Automate visual, we can also go ahead and apply some simple formatting options that are available as part of this visual. So we have the button text properties here, wherein I can go ahead and change the text of the button. So I've just changed it to send data from Power BI to Teams. I can go ahead and change the background color of the button. And there are many other visual options here available that we can go ahead and change. Now you're not limited to just adding one button per report. You can add multiple buttons here by adding the visual multiple times. So I just selected the Power Automate visual. And once again, I have that same experience again, wherein I need to first define the fields that I would like to pass from my Power BI data set to my flow. So I've gone ahead and passed five fields from my Power BI data set to Power Automate. Once again, I will go to edit. This time I will select the create a task from Power BI template, which creates tasks in Outlook. Connect to the connectors, click continue. This will open up the flow editor experience for us. For the subject, I will go ahead and pass the name of my task. Once again, it will add the apply to each loop. 
if I select any of the fields that I'm passing from my Power BI report to Flow. I will pick my task list, pick the due date, and add some content to the body of the task. Once I have completed my flow, click on save, go back, click apply, so that the flow gets associated with the button. I have changed the button text to add task. I will click save and back to my Power BI report. Let's say I want to create tasks for all my high priority items filter to the high priority items. I have six high priority items currently. I will click on add tasks. This will trigger the flow, which will in turn go ahead and start creating the tasks for me in Outlook. If I head over to Outlook and go to to do and head over to my tasks folder, I can see all those tasks created for me right here the due dates are in place, the name of the task is right here, and if I select a specific task, I can see the task number, the priority, and the status. So all of this automation right here on the fly by integrating Power Automate with Power BI. So I've gone ahead and added the visual again and selected my fields, and I will head over to Edit so I can go ahead and start associating that button to a flow. Now in my scenario, I've already gone ahead and created a flow from scratch. So for that, you can go to new and click instant flow. And this will create a flow with the Power BI button trigger. And then you can start adding your own steps, creating your own flow, clicking on save and associating it with the button. In my case, I have already done that. So I have a flow here called send a Teams adaptive card from Power BI. So if I edit this flow, my flow gets triggered when the button gets clicked. Next, I'm using the select action to create an array that has a peculiar format, wherein it has the type as text block and the text are the data that's coming from Power BI. And then I have this action here which says post an adaptive card as the flow bot to a user. And I've gone ahead and just designed an adaptive card experience. And as part of the adaptive card data in the items property, I'm passing the array that I generate from the select clause. So I can just go ahead and click save and apply. And this will go ahead and save my flow and also apply this flow directly to that button. So once I have that button ready to go in my Power BI report, this time, let's say I select all my tasks that are currently in progress. So I've filtered my data. I have three tasks here that are in progress. I'm gonna click on adaptive card. And this now will trigger that flow, which will create an adaptive card and post it to Teams. And in Teams, I get notified by the Power Automate bot. And here is that adaptive card that shows the data that's coming from Power BI. I have my three tasks that are currently in progress. And these are the task numbers. And that's exactly the data that was filtered in the Power BI report. If you enjoyed this video, then do like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you so much for watching.